All right, how you guys doing today? In this video, Mr. Muscarello is going to show you how to find the equation of a line when you are given two points. So let's take a look. What are we going to need to work with when you're presented with this kind of problem? And you're going to need three things. The very first thing you're going to need to do is figure out what the slope of the line is. And by, you should know that the equation for the line of a slope is going to be m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, where your x1 and y1s will come in your pair of points. So x1, y1 will be one point, and x2, y2 will be your other point. So you'll use the two points you're given to help you determine the slope. The next thing you're going to need is one point. And I usually like to pick the point, the first one you're given, the x1, y1 point, and that's just a preference. It doesn't matter which point you pick, but you've got to pick one of them. And then the second thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a formula. Now there are two formulas you could use. You could either use the point slope formula, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You can use that formula, or you could simply use the y equals mx plus b formula to determine the equation of the line. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example, and we'll go through this together. So in this one, we're given the two points, 9, 1, and 5, negative 2. Find the equation of the line through those two points. So the very first thing, we're going to figure out what the slope is. So here's your x1, here's your y1, and then 5, negative 2, you're going to have your x2 and your y2. So when you substitute that into your formula, and again, in the beginning, it might help you to write down the formula until you get that totally memorized. If you have it memorized, then you can probably skip that step and go right into substituting those values in. So y2 is negative 2 and y1 is 1 and then x2 is 5 and x1 is 9. So when I work with that and do the arithmetic I'll get negative 3 in the numerator and negative 4 in the denominator. Now if you have two negatives you just have to reduce or simplify that, which in this case we will because we have two negatives. So that's just going to reduce to the fraction 3 over 4 when we take out those two negatives. So that's going to give me the slope of the line. Now what I'm going to do first, I'll do it both ways. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that into the y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We're going to go ahead and work with this equation first. So y stays the same. Now y1 is going to be the number 1. The slope, I just found that, 3 fourths. So 3 fourths is going to go here. And then of course I'm going to go ahead and substitute the number 9 in for x1. Now if your teacher wanted it in point slope form, dude, you are golden. So that's all you need to do. You can stop, you're done. However, if they wanted you to continue on and put it in slope intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, then what you would need to do is go ahead and solve that for y. So if you do that, now I don't like fractions, so I would get rid of the 4 by multiplying everything by 4. So that would give me 4y minus 4 on the left, and on the right hand side you have to be careful here, it's just going to be 3 times the quantity x minus 9. And then when you distribute, you'll get 4y minus 4 equals 3x minus 27. And then when I move the 4 over, I'll get 4y equals 3x. Negative 27 plus 4 gives me minus 23. When I divide everything by 4, I'll get 3x over 4 minus and then 23 over 4. Nothing reduces. So if I wanted that equation in slope intercept form, that's what I would have. So that's if you were going to work with point slope form to start with. But say I wanted to find it in y equals mx plus b form right off the bat, like that was the equation you went with. So what that would look like would be this, y equals mx plus b. So always write down the formula to get going. Now the y and the x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull those from the x1 and y1 again. So my y1 is 1, and my m, I found that before, so that's 3 fourths. And then the x is going to be the value 9. So you just have to make sure that you pick the pair of numbers correctly. And then plus b. I don't know what b is, but that's what we're trying to figure out. So when I multiply 3 fourths times 9, that's the same thing as 9 over 1. So when you multiply that, you'll get 27 over 4 
plus b. Now I'm going to move the 27 over 4 to the other side. So I'm going to have 1 minus 27 over 4 equals b. What I do next is this whole number, the integer 1, I'm going to change that so that it is the same number on the bottom of my, in the denominator of my other fraction. So 27 over 4 is going to be the, my denominator is 4 in there, so I'm going to change 1 to 4 over 4. So that way it's easy to do the math. When I do 4 minus 27, that's going to give me negative 23 over 4. So that's going to be my b value. So if I wanted to rewrite this in mx plus b form, that's uh, slope-intercept form of line, I'm, I just found the value of b. So I've got negative or three fourths x and a minus 23 over 4, which, if I did it the other way, is the same thing I got. So either way you do that, you will get the same equation of the line. It just kind of depends where it is that you're going to, you know, which form that your teacher or the question your textbook might want you to have. So I'm going to give you one more to practice on your own. I want you to do it both ways. Go ahead and solve the, figure out the slope, and then determine the equation of the line in both point slope form as well as slope intercept form. Use both formulas. Start out using point slope formula as well as the slope intercept formula then determine the equation of the line. All right, so here is the problem that I want you to go ahead and try now. It is going to be, this time, the two points are going to be 3, 4, and negative 7, 8. Go ahead and hit pause and try these two examples, and then come back and let's see how you did. All right, so how'd you do with this problem? Hopefully, if you left it in, when you got it into point slope form, which is this guy right here, and I'll just abbreviate that PS. So point slope form, you would have had y minus 4 equals 2 fifths times the quantity x minus 3. And when you solve it into slope intercept form, you get y equals 2x over 5 plus 14 over 5. Now a side note, if instead of using x1 and y1, you would have used the point negative 7 and 8, you're your equation on the line in point slope form would be slightly different. However, when you solve that for y, when you get it into slope intercept form, it'd be the same thing anyway. So it doesn't matter which point you pick, either way, you'll get to the same answer. All right, so hopefully by now you understand how to write the equation of the line if you are given two points. All right, thanks for watching, guys. You have a great day. Peace out, and I'll catch you later.